Syria 103.3 FM. Good morning. I'm Ed Paulson. It's 525. Roads, there's uh, some flurries and stuff out there right now. Roads are kind of, uh, well, they're getting a little bit uh, snow covered, a little bit of a glaze on them, so allow yourself some time to drive this morning. Let's get right to farm news. Here's Greg Gack. Thank you, Ed. In the farm scene this morning, the Senate has confirmed former Mississippi Congressman Mike Espy as Agriculture Secretary. The Senate also approved Florida environmental official Carol Browner as chief of the Environmental Protection Agency and lawyer Mickey Cantor as U.S. Trade Representative. Bruce Babbitt was confirmed as Interior Secretary despite some Republican concerns about his link to environmental groups. The Republicans questioned whether Babbitt will give Western land issues a balanced approach. Idaho Senator Larry Craig called Babbitt a hired gun for the League of Conservation voters. Babbitt has headed the lobbying group for three years. The European community's new agriculture chief is defending a deal with the U.S. that calls for cuts in E.C. farm subsidies. Renee Steichen says the agreement worked out with Washington late last year doesn't amount to the apocalypse as it often is portrayed. Steichen says E.C. concessions to the U.S. fall within reforms agreed on earlier by member nations. It's been nearly two months since Russia made payments on U.S. guaranteed farm loans. During that time, the former Soviet Republic has missed nearly $218 million in debt payments. The Agriculture Department reports it's received a dozen new default notices from three lenders for $12.5 million. The Agriculture Department is shifting off a small part of the nation's record corn crop. USDA says Jordan has purchased 100,000 metric tons of U.S. corn. In addition, the U.S. is donating 200,000 metric tons of corn to Kazakhstan, and 100,000 metric tons of feed wheat to Kyrgyzstan. Both are former Soviet republics. The donations are worth nearly $50 million. A state review of the way dairy plants buy milk from farmers is underway. The analysis could determine whether free enterprise competition is threatening the health of the $10 billion a year Wisconsin dairy industry. That issue is the dairy plant's practice of offering farmers with large herds a higher price for their milk. Such volume premiums are an element of competition between the 200 plants in Wisconsin for the milk produced by the state's 30,000 dairy farmers. Plants that set more milk, get more milk rather, can make more cheese, butter, and other dairy products. In recent years, the use of volume premiums has become so popular that many farmers and policymakers say they believe it discriminates against small farmers and locks dairy plants into an upward price spiral. And that's a look at Farm News for this Friday. On January 24th, the crowd will shake, the earth will rumble, the Royal Rumble, 30 superstar wrestlers of the WWF bang heads in a winner take all rumble, 30 wrestlers, one ring, something's got to give. The championship match. Brett the Hitman Hart puts his title on the line when he battles the ruthless Razor Ramon. The Royal Rumble, live this Sunday afternoon on pay-per-view.